Hello, welcome to Liverpool FC News Today channel. Liverpool will reportedly look to sign Ozan Kabak from Schalke, as they look to bring in a replacement for Dejan Lovren. The Reds are set to wave goodbye to the Croatian this summer as he closes in a £10.9 million move to Zenit St. Petersburg. While Lovren was fourth in the pecking order at the heart of defence, he still enjoyed several spells in the side on the way to Champions League and Premier League glory. He was an experienced member of the squad and while he will continue to divide opinion, the reality is that Liverpool will need somebody to fill the void. Academy prospects Key Jana however and Sepp Van Denberg are not quite ready to make the step up meaning Jurgen Klopp is likely to delve into the market. According to German outlet Bild, Kabak is now on their radar after impressing in the Bundesliga. The Turkish international has thrived under former Huddersfield boss David Wagner. Wagner is a close friend of Jurgen Klopp having spent four years working under him at Borussia Dortmund, managing the reserve team. The former American international has often given Klopp references when it comes to making signings for Liverpool. He advised his former colleague to snap up Leicester fullback Ben Chilwell when he impressed on loan at Huddersfield. Klopp did not get his hands on the England international and now Wagner is unlikely to entertain the idea of Liverpool stealing one of his best players in Kabak. The defender has a £40 million buyout clause but £32 million could reportedly be enough to do the deal following the impact of the coronavirus crisis. Turkish journalist Mehmet Dimirko recently claimed on Being Sports that Kabak was indeed heading to the Premier League. I heard that he's on his way to Tottenham this season. Klopp recently made it clear that he is satisfied with his squad moving forward, while any potential incomings may depend on the current financial climate. I'm completely happy with my squad, 100%, he said. I was last year when everybody asked us to sign him and him and him. Because of our reasons, we didn't do it. It's not that we didn't want to do it. We try to make right decisions constantly, and then COVID-19 came and changed the situation again and not for the better, for all business in the world, not just football. It's not that we don't think we cannot improve, even on a transfer basis. We just do what is possible for us and what we are able to do. Other teams, if they invest then maybe they know more about the future, I don't know.